Source of all love, we ask your blessings upon Perrin and Shai, who have come under this kupa to link their lives and their destinies, even as love has already bound their hearts together. Help them, O oh God, to understand that marriage means not possession, but sharing, that they belong not to each other, but with each other. May they find in this marriage the happiness they so ardently seek and so richly deserve, and for which we so fervently pray. But may they understand that happiness is not found, it must be created. And it is created for ourselves only as we bring it to others. Happiness is not given, it is exchanged. May they understand too that success in marriage is more than finding the right person, it is being the right person. Having both chosen the one who pleases them, may they now strive to please the one they have chosen. May they enrich each other while being true to themselves. May they give what is needed and more. May they take what is needed and no more. May their field of vision be wide enough to enable them to see the point of view from the other side of the breakfast table. <laughs> <laughs> Teach them that while love may come suddenly, fulfillment in marriage comes slowly. Marriage at best, at its best, is a life's work for two people at their best. Having experienced the wondrous mystery of falling in love, May they learn the joy of rising in love. May theirs be a love that the passing of years of caring and sharing will deepen and enlarge. May they help each other grow, and may they understand that we grow best when we are praised and appreciated, when we feel needed and loved. Help them to accept each other, that they, are so, that they may develop into what they are capable of being. Help them to make their home a sacred shrine in which your blessings of contentment harmony and peace will always abide. And let us say, Amen. Amen. The exchange of rings now takes place. The ring is simple without stones. The ring's wholeness symbolizes the beautiful way the bride and groom complement each other. At the moment the, the rings are presented, a special formula is recited, witnessed, and the bride and groom thus become legally bound to each other. May I have the ring for the bride, please. Shai, will you take this ring, please, and place it on Taryn's right forefinger? And while holding her hand, will you repeat, Hare at Mikudeshetli? Repeat. Hare at Mikudeshetli, Betabazo, Kedat Moshevi Yisrael. Kedat Moshevi Yisrael. By this ring, by this ring, you are consecrated to me. You are consecrated to me. As my wife. As my wife. In accordance with in accordance with the laws of Moses with the laws of Moses and the people of Israel and the people of Israel and Taryn will you respond by saying in accepting this ring in accepting this ring I pledge you all my love and devotion I pledge you all my love and devotion may I now have the ring for the groom please okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shara I want a hug too Taryn will you place this ring on Shai's right forefinger and while holding his hand, will you repeat after me? Hare, Hare Ata, Ata Mikudash, Mikudash Li, Li Bitabaat Zo, Zo Kadat Moshe, Moshe Vi Yisrael By this ring, by this ring you, are consecrated to me, you are consecrated to me as my husband, as my husband in accordance with the law of Moses and the people of Israel. And Shai, will you respond by saying, in accepting this ring, in accepting this ring I pledge you all my love and I, devotion. I pledge you all my love and my devotion. I read now from the ketubah, this gorgeous ketubah that you have for your wedding. Bakushta. <laughs> In the presence of loving family and friends, on the fourth day of the week, the, fifth, uh, the fourth day of the week, the fourteenth day of the month of Nisan, in the year 5769, corresponding to the eighth day of April 2009, the Holy Covenant of Marriage was entered into here in Santa Rosa, California, between Shai Omran and Taryn Goodman. 
As beloveds and friends, we promise to love, honor, cherish, and support each other. May we ever be open and honest, slow to anger, and quick to forgive, and always sensitive to each other's needs. May we seek to understand one another, always treating each other with respect and kindness. May we remain committed to each other's physical and mental well-being, and to each other's emotional and spiritual growth. May we always encourage and challenge one another to be the best persons we are yet to be. Together we will create a warm and loving home filled with trust, generosity, and reverence for all. A place of passion and com compassion, sweetened and honored by the traditions of our Jewish heritage and blessed with shalom. We promise to remain faithful to this covenant in body and in spirit, through harmony and through discord, through abundance and through scarcity, through health and through illness, and through joy and through sorrow. May we ever be mindful that our days together are a gift from God, and ever grateful for each new day, new dawn we awaken to share with one another. The miracle of our love seals this covenant. Shai, I give this ketubah to you, and as I do so, mm -hmm. I want you to remind you that in any partnership, it is always the senior partner who protects and guards the most precious documents. And so having <laughs> said that, I now want you to give it to Taryn. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> 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 <laughs>